Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this video, I just wanted to talk to you quick and give you a quick update about the free Ho Rope plugin. I did a video about this plugin before, and I had a few users in the comments saying, I can't get this working in R23 and above. Um, and obviously, I'm using R21, and even in R21, there was a, a couple of settings on the dynamics tags of the controller, the control points. Um, that had to be changed as well. And that's largely because on the official page, if I go grab that, you can see here that it's been tested on Cinema 4D R18 and R19. It doesn't look like it, it's had any further development. I mean, uh, four years ago, there we go. So that's why it was causing issues um, with higher versions of Cinema 4D. Well, a lovely, lovely person over at core4d.com, by going by the name of Corinne, actually did some changes to the plugin for us. He basically upgraded it from Python 2 to Python 3, and it now works very well in R23 and above, I'm told, but it's also backwards compatible as well. So I've got it here in R21, and um, I suppose let's just take a good look at it. Okay, so I already have a spline here, and I've got this sort of updated version of the of the plugin installed now. So if I go to extensions, uh, go to Ho Rope, hold Alt, so it becomes a um, parent of our selected object. I'm just going to go through quick and create a sweep. So it's now a sweep object. Let's change the view as well. Uh, let's alter the radius down a little bit like that, and press C. Let's open this up so we can see our controls. So we've got a root and target here. Let's put a little bit more time on our clock as well. So that's 30 seconds. And I'm just going to press play. Now I can actually move these objects without having to make any changes. Before, uh, when we went to this dynamics tag and went to the collision, the inherit tag was set to uh, apply tag to children. So what that meant was this was happening. But now that's been fixed. So we could have done a workaround for that in R21 anyway, but now there's no need to. And from what I'm told in my uh, comment section, it wasn't working for R23 and above at all. But now it is because the Python has been upgraded to Python 3. So uh, you'll find a download for this updated version of HoRope in the description of this video. And uh, there'll be a download link on the article on my website as well. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Anyone that was having trouble with Horo before with higher versions of Cinema 4D, go grab this version, give it a go for yourself, and let me know how it goes in the comments. Obviously, I'm still running R21. That will change hopefully later this year. Um, but yeah, just let me know how it goes in the comments, and I'll see you for the next video. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.